Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's reading. Um, we're going to be talking about their future. So this is the future, the fortune teller reading. It's a five card spread. Um, I'm going to be working with the Madame and Dora's fortune cards for your reading. So it's these guys. Um, I think I'm just going to pull from the from the Oracle deck. I don't think I'm going to pull tarot for you. I'm just really feeling called to work with um, this deck specifically. So, um, you, the question that you asked was, what advice does the universe have for me in starting my own business in tarot? So, ooh, I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pull five cards regarding this. What does the universe have in store for you regarding tarot and your or starting your tarot biz or your you know your tarot biz in general um, which is right up my alley it is exactly what I have been doing for myself so <laughs> I just need to warm up the cards a little bit Okay, so let's start. Number one, something coming up in the future. So keep in mind, we are reading about your tarot biz. So something that's coming up in your future regarding that topic. And we have the Sphinx. This is choose your words carefully. So something coming up in the future, choosing your words carefully is really, as a tarot reader in general, it's very important that we um, are very cautious um that we are very considerate okay um with the words and the way that we deliver our messages and our readings to other people so um when it comes down to you starting your tarot business um i feel like maybe one of the one of the lessons one of the challenges for you will be how to actually word the messages that you're receiving the messages that you see coming through in the cards um, and how to word that for your clients um, and every client is different so some clients need a very like a very non sugar-coated type of a reading they actually prefer those um, types of messages um, that are kind of like not like they're being um, not like they're being scolded, but just that that are really blunt. Um, some people actually want and appreciate that kind of an energy. And then you have clients who need the, the messages delivered, but they need it delivered in a more softer tone. Um, and so as a tarot reader, when you really embark on your business and you start to read and deal with different, different clients, different personality types, and also different types of questions, you're gonna start to become more familiar with just knowing, you're just gonna know, you're gonna have that feeling of the way that you're supposed to deliver the message. So I'm wondering if for you, um, if right now in the present, this is a little bit of a challenge for you. This might be something that you struggle with a bit. This might be something that you um, hesitate around. Um, how to deliver the right words, how to come up with the right words and the right message for your clients. That might be something that you um, struggle with a little bit. That might be a little bit of a challenge for you. Uh, number two, what role will you play in this tarot business? And we have the winds of change. Your surroundings were under, will undergo transition. So the role that you'll be playing in this um, with your tarot business, I'm seeing lots of, so the card is, is, is showing winds of change. So lots of change taking place. I feel like with wind or the air element, um, definitely, again, conversation. So the way that you speak and the way that you actually deliver the readings is going to go through a transformation for you. So I feel like... Um, the way that you are as a reader from the very beginning as you're starting to learn or have, as when you first started to learn, because I'm not sure how far along in your journey you are, um, but there is a, a huge change from the way that we were starting out to the way that we are in the present. Um, definitely lots of growth. We go through lots of transformations in that way as readers. 
So I do feel like for one, that's that's one thing. The other thing that I'm getting from this is um, transformation in terms of the, the way that your business looks. So I'm really getting the feeling, and this is intuitively, um, I'm getting the feeling that the um, surroundings, your surroundings, like where you conduct your readings, whether you are doing them in the house, um, if you go publicly, maybe you will um, attempt to do some public or, you know, um, like local fairs and and that sort of thing that might be something you will try but i'm getting the vibe that your surroundings are going to be very different um the environment of the space where you read will be going through some transitions so if you do read out of the home this might be um kind of a message for you to kind of switch things up in the house make it more um of a just more of an environment where you feel comfortable reading in and it just inspires you because um your reading space should be your sacred space for sure, um, but it should also reflect kind of like the type of reader that you are, the kind of energy that you want your clients to feel when they are in the space. That's And that's me assuming that you were reading for clients in person. If you were reading for clients online like I do often, um, even just the setup of your space always have... Just that comfortable, really, that really good vibe that makes you feel really good. Um, let me show you my space real quick. So I have the laptop, whoops, <laughs> I have my camera on a, um, what's it called, on the tripod, so it's easier for me to hold it. But um, I have my laptop set up, and so this is where I conduct the video readings. I have, of course, the the spread cloth here. This is, you know, halloween -y, so I have some crystals and things like that. Um, below, I have a lot of my candles. So I have a lot of the chakra candles because they make me feel really good and connected. <laughs> um, you know, I have my little little signage there it's with my lights so I'll turn on the lights if it's like in later in the day um, and I have a more crystals and a salt lamp I always have a salt lamp in my space um, it makes me feel really relaxed so what I'm saying is is making your space your own um, owning it and it should be a space that makes you feel comfortable. It should be a space that makes you feel just really good when you're in it because that's where your magic is happening. So that's what I'm also getting for the winds of change. So I'm feeling like um, definitely the environment or the energy that you'll be playing with is going to change up a little bit. And then also the way you communicate. I'm definitely seeing growth in the way that you will communicate in your readings. Um, so that's definitely something that's going to happen. That's that's quite exciting. Okay, number three, um, how will this affect you? So we have the night triumph over adversity. So definitely um, don't be weary. Don't be scared. Don't be nervous about the changes. Don't be nervous about your, your business in, in a whole. The night is a very confident card and it's just showing success. Um, and this is a path that will be very strength filled for you. Um, it's strength filled. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> this is a path that will be very re rewarding. Um, it's going to make you feel very confident. It's just going to be something that gives you power. It's going to make you feel like you are really tapping into a life purpose. Um, so a very positive role in the future I'm seeing. Um, I think that it, it'll affect you very positively. So definitely follow your heart. Your tarot path, your tarot journey, it's your path. Follow it. Own it. <laughs> um, but it's its definitely, I, I see positivity coming from it. So that's really good. Number four, how to approach the experience. So we have love, true love and fidelity. So how to approach the experience of your tarot business. You got to put your heart and soul into it. That's definitely the number one thing that I am seeing. Um, so putting your heart and soul into everything that you do regarding your business whether it is the ideas or it's the the way that you promote yourself your brand your your postings on um, Instagram or Facebook or wherever it is that you are um, posting on the social network sites those are really important 
Um, it all has to come from the heart. And when we are working from our heart source, we are genuine. We are being original. Um, no copying. <laughs> don't copy. Don't feel like you have to reflect a, a spiritual business that is just like everybody else. You really make yourself different so you stand out. And that is also how you will attract the right clients for yourself. Um, but definitely heart-centered should be your approach with your, with your business, definitely. And then number five, how to prepare for the experience. And we have seduction, passion, and romance await. So I love it. So the seduction card is making me feel like... Um, a really good way for you to approach the business to approach I think this is more so attracting your clients um, when you are seducing you are doing something to gain attention right you are doing something to gain eyes and exposure so I feel like for you to gain clients you really want to one come from your heart okay so come from your heart be original um, be yourself but also doing things that are maybe different from other people um, really in a way that you're, it's like you're seducing your new clients. You are seducing these people to want to get to know who you are. And they're going to be so curious about you because they're, they've never seen anything like it. Maybe you're offering services that are very different from other readers. Maybe you, um, you know, your brand in general is just something that stands out. It, something about you or your business is going to seduce the future clients that you will have. Um, so I definitely see that it's also a good way to promote yourself um, by just having <laughs> just having something to offer that they can't say no to. So seducing your clients and also with the message of um, passion. Again, passion comes from the heart. So everything that you do should be passionate. Everything that you do should come from your heart, should come from um a genuine source of what you want to do to help other people and trust me your clients will know if you are faking it your clients will sense it so it's just don't waste your time trying to fake a certain brand or a certain um energy to your to your services because people will know that they'll sense it if you're not being authentic so if you ever are in doubt always be yourself always be yourself and always just approach your business from your heart that's where it should come from um and just be patient because the growth of a of a tarot business is slow um but it's very rewarding so if you are patient and you are willing to see it for the long haul there you go so i'm just going to show you your card since i can <laughs> i love this tripod so your cards, we um, those are your cards for your reading. I hope that you were able to just gain a message, gain some clarity for the the question that you had. I wish you all of the best with your tarot journey. And as always, thank you. And anyone who is watching, this is the fortune teller reading. It is available in my shop. Um, so click. Click the link in the description box. It will take you to my shop. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.